House number 49 is a company of h -tail that chronicles the lives of five boys who desperately wanted to become professional athletes. It's a story about class, about struggle, about ambition, and the hurdle we sometimes have to face to make our ambitions become a reality. I grew up in Jos, a beautiful town in northern Nigeria where growing up, I saw a lot of young people who desperately wanted to become professional footballers, who wanted to be celebrities on TV. But sometimes, these young people were also exploited by scammers who could sense their desperation. One of the beauties of storytelling is that it avails us the opportunity to reinvent the time once experienced, to reimagine the world once lived. I created the characters in my story because they wanted their voices to be heard. I yielded their requests because I wanted to humanize them to share their dreams with the world and hope that these dreams would resonate with anyone who may come across their individual struggles and perhaps their eventual triumphs in my story. Fadi is a story about a man trying to find home for his autistic daughter. My influence has been the fiction of Shinwa Achebe, J.M. Kutsi, and Ayukwe Ama, a Ghanaian writer. My inspiration for this particular story was by watching the people around me, especially by this man and his daughter who share so much love and joy in spite of the, their state of poverty and pain. Stories are very important to us, especially in this time because they help us to travel in space and time into the souls of people and places. And at the end, we empathize with one another because we find that in story that we share the same basic emotions of humanity, the emotions of pain, joy, despair, grief. And at the end of the day, we realize that we are one. Our stories connect us. My story today is structured around the memories of a diasporic Mauritian woman. Um, each memory is about the important women in her family. So her mother, her lover, and her grandmother. Um, and each uh, memory is tied to a specific tea in her collection, thus the title of the story, Dite. On the one hand, the story speaks to her love of tea. On the other, it is set against the colonial violence of tea plantations in Mauritius. Um, um, I am one of those writers who believe that fiction is not just about writing a story. Fiction is about writing truth. Um, it's about um, speaking truth to power. It's about envisioning a different kind of world. Um, it is a sort of social activism, if you will, um, around which to build community. The Goat is about a woman whose newborn is stolen from the maternity ward and her own unusual way of dealing with the laws, which is complicated by her relationship with the billy goat her husband bought as their son's birth gift. This was a story that during its creation had drained me completely. In a very real way, stories order our lives. Each morning, stories follow greetings and each evening stories precede the good night wishes in our everyday interactions whether in person or virtually each how are you each how is it going is a story prompt an invitation to share your story with a ready audience my story is about a pensioner recalling the pressures that ended his personal love story and seeking the courage to reach for hope and healing in a way that I hope will resonate with readers as it's something we're all called to do at different times in our real lives. My writing is usually inspired by the people I meet or even simply observe in the course of everyday life. My imagination is often activated by such encounters and I want to create stories for these people. 
The spark for this particular story was witnessing social grants queues during and after the COVID-19 pandemic as I wondered what the personal stories of the people were. I especially want to write about senior citizens as they are so often trivialised or overlooked in fictions. Our stories connect us.